This week we are in Laos. More specifically, today we are in Luang Prabang. We got here a couple of days ago, we absolutely love Laos. And for today we booked a tour. Usually we don't book tours, but because we don't have much time here, we decided to book one just so we could take the most of it. So come with us to see what we are up to today. We booked this tour through the hotel. We figured it would save time and energy and effort just going with the hotel rather than hunting around for the best tour groups. And from what we've discovered after the fact, it's uh, the price is comparable. It's a little bit cheaper through the hotel, so winning on that front. We've gone from the minivan to a snow boat and apparently it's going to take us on a two hour cruise of the river. Where are you from? Luan Prabang? Yeah, Luan Prabang. Yeah. Ice expensive, food expensive, but beer is cheaper. <laughs> We just got some deep fried bananas last night. It's so good. Just taking this pet elephant for a walk. We should be almost at the caves. We go down to the Pagu Cave. And inside the Pagu Cave, they have lower cave and upper cave. So they only have Buddhas inside. There are 4,000 Buddhas. So in the uh, 14th century, the king of Laos brought the Buddha to the Pau Cave. Some of the Buddha made of iron or gold, and some of the Buddha made of wood. And during the Lao New Year, many, now, you, now you don't see many Lao people. And during the Lao New Year, you, will, you come here, you will see many Lao people go to the cave. And they're wishing good luck. They buy incense stick, candle, uh, flower for wishing good luck. And then they leave some, some Buddha made by wood there. So Buddha increased uh, 4,000 and 4,000 or many, many every year. Okay? And then we, you come back to the boat and then we drive to Mani Bar Camp for lunch. And after lunch, we take the mini van to Whiskey Village. And people who do food, food day, we are going to the waterfall after. Have fun! We are in the lower cave of Buddhas. Uh, there's two caves, there's an upper cave and a lower cave. And between the two, there's about 4,000 Buddhas, and that number is growing every year. They range from Buddhas made out of wood, out of gold, and out of iron. And it's a massive place of worship for these people, so we're trying to be a little bit respectful. There's a long, steep stairs to get to the upper cave. So this is the upper cave, and it's, it's so impressive to see so many ancient or very old statues and sculptures of Buddha, especially in a natural formation like this. Uh, the upper cave is about 54 metres long to the back part and most of it is filled with Buddhas. I believe we are on our way to have lunch. Thank you. Thank We had a lovely buffet lunch and we got to quite the elephant. It's so big, it's scary, and it's so cute. We just had lunch at a restaurant overlooking the Mekong River and it was a buffet style, amazing food and I had two beers so I'm a little bit happy mm -hmm. and then on the way up we saw an elephant that was just happily eating bananas out of a crate or out of a basket and we got to pat this elephant and that's the closest I've ever been to an animal that can stomp me like a bug and now we're on the way to a waterfall So you know, uh, in the past, you know, uh, we don't have uh, factory for make beer lao. The way we use this one, with whiskey, yeah, whiskey lao, yeah. We have some party, you know, wedding party, uh, 
I got fifty four new year, we used only whiskey now. Yeah. Sir? Sure, sure. That's a strong one. Hmm. That one's a lot stronger. <laughs> We stopped in the whiskey village on the way to the waterfalls. We saw all the whiskey with snakes and scorpion inside. Aaron's already half drunk. And not. Okay, so uh, we have two ways here. Yeah. This way, uh, I went uh, direct to the big water pond. Uh, this uh, swimming pool first. Yeah. This, this way, uh, you take a uh, big pond and you draw this way for swimming. Yeah. After a one and a half hour uh, minivan ride with our guide, he's dumped us off here at the waterfall place and we're in the middle of a rainforest area and apparently we go up a hill to see the big waterfall, we go down a hill to see another waterfall, we don't really know, it's very hard to understand him but we're going on an adventure anyway. These are the Asian moon bears and they're a lot smaller than what I thought. Apparently they're in danger from poachers and uh, humans in general. So this place is trying to help rescue them, which I think is awesome. I would call this guy Buddha, just sitting on a tree, thinking about life. He doesn't care about anything else. This is bear in Laos, and I don't know, I think uh, that part of Asia as well, they, kept, they get kept in captivity for their bile, because their bile is believed to make people stronger, and the sanctuary rescues them. The one we have seen before was a small waterfall at the bottom. This is a big famous waterfall at the top and it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's the most amazing waterfall I have ever seen in my life. And I have seen a lot of them in Australia. We are at the waterfalls, I forget what they're called, but we'll put the title below. And they are absolutely stunning. The colour of the water is beautiful. The waterfalls themselves are beyond belief. You've got to see it to believe it. There are different levels in this waterfall, so if you want from the main waterfall you can go up and there are some little pools in which you can swim. We decide not to do it because the path is a bit steep, it will take a lot of time to walk there and swim and enjoy it and we only have one hour left because unfortunately we are with a tour group. We just spent five minutes here staring at the waterfall. We don't want to leave because once I believe it's gone and we don't know when we will see it again. It's so beautiful. We are going down from a different path and as we go down we find all these different levels of the waterfalls. It's amazing. This is the most incredible, spectacular, natural place I have ever seen in my life. I was expecting the big waterfall, but I really wasn't expecting all the levels going down. And it's huge, it's massive, it keeps going, going, going. Uh, how much? 15. 15. Top guy, top guy. Thank you so much. How are you? Very good, that's beautiful. Train at 335, yeah? Yes, but yeah. price 265,000 keep. The driver was driving like a madman. I'm a bit sick actually. But the tour was very, very, very cool. Usually we don't do ropes like I said this morning but this one was definitely worth it worth the money worth the day that we spent there we saw beautiful stuff but the only regret that I have is not spending more time with the elephants because we really had only five minutes there but yeah it wasn't a tour to see the elephants it was more about the caves and the waterfall very 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 cool I highly recommend it if you come here now went to go shopping because today is our last day in Wampa Bang so we have a lot of uh, souvenirs that we want to buy and uh, have dinner Thank you! We have a new 
friend. He has a little bandana as well. He's happy. So we bought out of stuff at the market and now we go to Indigo Cafe which is just on the side of the market here and they have the best pad thai we have ever had so far in the, during this trip. So we should come here. We should come to the Umbrabar and have the pad thai. The irony is we're not even in Thailand anymore. My happy face. So it comes with peanuts and chili that you can add on your pad thai. And it also comes with lime. Freshly squeezed. Do you still make waffles? For finish. For finish? Pancakes. Pancakes. One or two? Two. Two. So for dessert we got these little coconut pancakes served in a banana leaf. Absolutely delicious and nice and cheap. They're very gooey on the inside, nice and fluffy, and they're not too coconutty, coconut so the taste is not too overwhelming. Very good. These are all the souvenirs we managed to buy tonight for market. Got a hand painted shopping bag, like a little happy elephant on there, he's so happy. We've got about a billion of these. These are uh, melted aluminium souvenirs. And the story behind these is that there was a secret war waged at the end of the uh, US Vietnam conflict where the United States of America launched a massive bombing campaign in and on the country of Laos. Uh, and they dropped about 200 million tons of ordnance on the country of Laos and uh, caused massive devastation. It's still causing devastation this year because a lot of those bombs didn't explode on impact. So they're just waiting in the ground, waiting to explode, maybe some poor farmer will play out his field and get blown up. It's horrible. But these things, these trinkets, are made of the aluminium from the bombs. Part of the profits from buying these souvenirs, the aluminium souvenirs, uh, goes back to the community to help support the people that the bombs have affected. So it's a goodwill souvenir to buy if you're ever in Laos. Last but not least, it's all wrapped up. I'm not going to unwrap it. It's some mango whiskey, um, which is famous from this part of Laos. They make it out of rice and obviously mango. So. And pure, pure alcohol. And alcohol. And uh, looking forward to drinking that. That's it. We get breakfast every day, free from the hotel, and it's always good. We're staying in a hotel called Liberty Place, and usually it's not this noisy, I don't know what's going on this morning. But every morning they take us a free letter for breakfast, a juice, a tea or coffee, and then we can choose whatever breakfast we want. So I got a banana pancake, and I don't got eggs and sausage. Very good value for money in this hotel. It's the first hotel in which we find a hot we found a hot shower. Internet works perfectly, breakfast is great, absolutely recommended if you come to Amsterdam. Now all this mess needs to end up inside the luggages. Finally a millionaire, look at all my money. Somehow everything fits in our bags. Now we have three or four hours to chill around because we have a train to Van Yang at 3.30 p.m. I believe. Help me count, that should be one. Mm -hmm. And that should be two. Yes. walking around for a little bit this morning uh, we decided to get something to eat because post lunch I got some stir fried cashew chicken and rice it was pretty good and these are noodles with shrimps and vegetables and they look delicious so we wasted a couple of hours now we're walking back to the hotel so we can get a moving van to go to the train station Thank you.
quickly run to get our minivan because they couldn't quite get to our hotel and they were waiting for us. And then after, I don't know, 20 minutes drive, we arrived here at this pretty modern train station. We've got a board now. This is the fanciest station I have ever seen in my life. It even has security controls. This is the most orderly train station we've ever been in. They, uh, they make you wait at the gate and then they let the monks go on first and then they let you all through and then you've got to line up on your different station number. We made it to Bandien, it is absolutely stunning. We got a tuk tuk from the train station to town, and now we have about 15 minutes walk to go to our hotel. And that's the reason why you travel through Southeast Asia with a best friend and a hotel of Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Yeah. You? Long Mabang. Ah. We were just there. Yeah. 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 You have been there? Yeah. Been from today. Did you do trekking? Yeah. That's from today. Well, that's it for this video. We absolutely love Luang Prabang. It's one of our favorite cities so far. We love the people, we love the nature, and we can't wait to go back there. But now we are really looking forward to explore Bambiang. If you like this video, leave us a comment, leave us a like, and we will see you in the next one.